Today, I just wanted to show you five beginner tips for prompt engineering with GPT-3. Uh, I think these tips have a lot of practical use cases. They are not the most advanced way to use a large language model, but I think it's a nice start as a prompt engineer. Let's just dive in. Okay, so the first tip I have is how you can write a summary from a text. So here we have an article about AI generated art from The Guardian. So basically what I did here is just I copied almost all of the article and I pasted it into the GPT-3 GPT playground. And so the prompt here is going to be... So I go on top of the, of the text I pasted in and I write, write a concise summary of the following text. And then I follow up beneath the text, write a concise summary. So the temperature is set to 0 0.7. But what I like to do here is just turn it all the way down. So it should be deterministic. And I also turn the length up to, let's say, around 400. So it doesn't get too long. And then it's basically just hit submit. Okay, so the result was the article discusses how AI generated art is becoming more common and how this poses a problem for artists who are losing work to machines. It also discussed controversy around the use of AI to generate text, and how this could lead to replacement of human journalists. So that is how you write a concise summary. Okay, so over to the next tip I wanted to show you. Still, we are using the same text. So here I want to get the GPT-3 to write me the three most important questions from the text. So basically here I want the GPT-3 to construct three questions that it thinks is more important that it has extracted from this article. So I just follow up as uh, the last tip, write the three most important questions. So then just hit submit and see what we get. Okay, so here we have the three questions. Uh, what are the implications of AI generated art? How does the com commodification of digital technologies impact society? What is the debate around augmentation versus replacement? Okay, so now let me show you how, if I wanted to answer these questions, I will just type answer. Uh, questions above then to give it some kind of reference I just start with the one dot and then I just press submit here we can see that the, the AI understands the pattern and it answers all the three questions you don't have to go back and type in number two and three it understands the pattern and it replicates what you want to see so now we have the questions and we have the answers to the questions. Okay, so the third tip I have is just you, how you can make like a small ana analysis of the text. So here you can see I have prompt engineer. Uh, I start with just analyze the text below. And then I follow up with analyze the text and answer the questions below. Then I wrote out the questions I want answered in the analysis. And then finally I just follow up with answer the questions and go one point so the AI knows where to start. And then it's just to hit submit. And here we can see the answers to the question. The text has 743 words. The sentiment is negative. The most used word in the text is AI. Text is an opinion piece. So I kind of like this way to analyze quickly, analyze our text. So you can like understand the sentiment and the type. And sometimes you just need a quick word count too. So I like this, uh, this tip. Okay, so the fourth tip I have for you is how you can write a social media post. So let's just say you have read an article you found very interesting. 
and you want to make a, a social media post about let's say twitter then i just construct this prompt that says write a twitter post and include two hashtags from the following text and as a, as a follow up we need with just write a twitter post and here i really like to adjust the temperature i usually just crank it up all the way to one but then you gotta be a bit careful and try to fact check what the post is gonna be about uh, I, I just figure out that if i put it to one uh, i get more interesting text so now just let's hit submit okay so the tweet we got was new fears and hopes rapidly emerge with the commodification of digital technologies hashtag mid journey hashtag gpt3 so probably not the best post but you get the idea uh, so yeah uh, this can be useful okay so my fifth and final tip for today is um, let's see you have to let's say you have to write a lot of emails and of course the subject line is quite important in an email and you're not quite sure what to write so i often just go over to the gpt3 to help me get some ideas so how you can do this is you just start on top again of the text and just write construct an email subject line with max 60 characters from the following text and again i follow up with construct the email subject line and here you can be a bit creative if you want you can like include like a humoristic uh, viewpoint or like a serious viewpoint just be a bit creative here so uh temperature is set to zero and then let's just click submit okay so here is the subject line the gpt3 wrote the atlantic uses ai to generate illustrations is this the future of art i guess that's okay but mostly it's just an easy way to get ideas for subject lines so uh again could be useful okay so i hope you enjoyed this type of videos uh, it's nothing special, but I think it's a good start if you want to try to uh, learn more about prompt engineering. Anyway, check out this video if you want to see how I used GPT-3 to create a mid-journey prompt generator. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.